All right, welcome back. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday Morning Fuel. And today is National Wear Red Day. I know I can't see all of you, but hopefully you are wearing your red today in honor of raising awareness about heart disease. Um, so I've got my red on. And today we are gonna be making a heart healthy red smoothie bowl, okay? So our secret ingredient for today, um, excuse me, let me back up. I know we have a lot of new people. I'm Daniela, wellness coordinator for AXOS. And joining us today is Will, the Will Group, Women in Leadership at Lenovo. So thank you everyone that is here today to watch this smoothie demo. And remember, you can also catch this later if you weren't here for the live show on our YouTube channel. Um, go to YouTube and find Power Up Fitness Center on there. You will find the recording of this um, episode so you can share with a colleague or a friend and you can find episodes of, um, or past episodes on there, past uh, demos as well, okay? All right, let's get on to our smoothie bowl for today. Our secret ingredient is beets. Um, so, I don't have fresh beets. I actually had frozen beets in my fridge, in my fridge this week. Um, wish I had like the, the fresh ones to hold up by the stem for you. Um, but I'm a big fan of making use of whatever is already in your refrigerator and your freezer. Um, so in an effort to be efficient, I just went with the frozen beets today. Um, so they are chopped. Um, so this bag was from Trader Joe's. They are the um, beet chunks, so they're already kind of chopped up in there for you. Um, what makes this an easy option is that they are um, pre-cut, so you can throw them into um, like soups or smoothie bowls um, or a smoothie to drink, um, or you can thaw them out and put them into your salad. They're already chopped up for you. Um, if you do get the fresh option um, from the grocery store, um, you do have to peel them. Uh, but beets can be eaten raw. Um, so someone asked me, you know, how do I prepare beets, um, especially for like a smoothie bowl? Um, I just throw them in there raw. Um, you can roast them in the oven. You can grill them, um, boil them, lots of different ways to prepare beets, okay? Um, so this is our half cup of beets today um, that we'll throw into the blender. Um, so beets are our secret in, um, featured ingredient today because they are so helpful for heart health and most people don't think about beets being a heart healthy food, um, but they have a secret ingredient in them, nitric oxide, um, which is sort of like a, a, a way of telling your um, arteries, like the, the walls of your arteries to like, hey, relax. So it helps expand your arterial walls, which makes it a little bit easier for our blood to flow through. It helps to lower blood pressure and the easier our blood can flow through your arteries, um, the less your heart has to work, right? So the, the less demand we place on our heart, um, the better, more efficient it'll work. Uh, beets are also high in fiber, vitamin B9, vitamin C, manganese, potassium, and iron, and you can find them in couple different colors. Um, they can be yellow, those are the golden beets. Uh, they can come in a white or a pink color or the, the dark purple that we normally see them in. They are also a very hydrating food. They are 88% water, um, which makes them a great hydrating food that also helps to improve heart health. Um, so when we are better hydrated, um, our heart has to work less. Um, so usually our blood kind of ranges from consistency of like um, like runny ketchup to maybe like the consistency of like wine, right? Um, a lot of different variations um, depending on the individual, but the more, um, what's the word? I guess the, le the less thicker <laughs> your blood is, um, the easier it can flow again through your veins, through your heart, and so the less demand is placed on your heart um, and it's able to work more efficiently. So some fun tips about beets there for you and how it contributes to heart health. Um, so let's go ahead and start making our smoothie. 
Um, so I've got my blender. Um, if you all, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of like yellow tint, green, yellow tinted. Um, so I had made a like roasted carrot soup last week and I used turmeric. I don't know if anyone's ever worked with turmeric, but um, it'll stain all of your cookware for at least like five to seven business days. Um, but that's why my blender looks yellow. Um, so I apologize for that, but it's okay. All right, let's get our ingredients into our blender and make our smoothie bowl. Um, so I've got my half cup of beets, toss those in there. And I'm gonna be using a half cup of berries. Um, so this is just from a berry um, bag that I got at Aldi's. Um, again, if I were to choose between uh, frozen and fresh, fresh is always a better option, but go with what is available to you. Sometimes the, the frozen options are even better for, for smoothies because it gives it a little thicker consistency. Um, so I like to use frozen berries for my smoothies, smoothie bowls. I'm gonna toss those in there. And I will be using a half of banana. So a half banana is actually a serving size of banana. Um, so one thing I really like to talk about during our Friday morning fuel episodes is uh, serving sizes and paying attention to uh, serving sizes. So our banana, half a banana is a serving size. And another item that is often overlooked when it comes to serving sizes is avocado. Um, so our avocado, this is a fourth of an avocado. So and I've cut it in half and then cut that in half. So a fourth of an avocado is a serving size. So sorry to disappoint all of you um, avocado toast fans. <laughs> we gotta take that serving size down. Um, is it fine to use half an avocado? Absolutely, just be mindful of um, the fat intake for the rest of your day. You wanna try to find balance um, throughout your day as far as your macronutrients are concerned. All right. So we have our beets, our berries, banana, and avocado, which is a serving of healthy fats, omega-3 fatty acids, which also promote heart health. Let me find my tablespoon. Whoops, sorry everyone. All right. We're gonna also be adding in here some hemp seeds. Um, so hemp seeds also high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health. Uh, so things like nuts and seeds, um, this is a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. Okay. Um, Nuts and seeds are really helpful to lower your LDL, which is your low density lipo, lipoproteins, which is kind of like your bad cholesterol. Um, so things like nuts, seeds um, help to lower your LDL and your triglycerides, which help to reduce the amount of plaque in your arteries, which can also contribute to heart disease. So nuts and seeds, always a good option for heart health. Okay, I'm gonna be adding in a little collagen powder for a protein source. Um, we like to make sure we have all four pillars of nutrition, our build, which is our carbohydrates, um, excuse me, our fuel. <laughs> our fuel is our carbohydrates. Um, so in here we have our banana, our berries, our beets, um, which serve as our carbohydrates, our fuel. Our build, which is our protein. I'm gonna be using collagen powder today. Our protect is our healthy fats. We have avocado and hemp seeds, and we'll be adding in coconut milk. And then the prevent is our fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants, uh, which our berries also double as our prevent for our smoothie bowl today. So someone asked me what collagen powder was. So collagen is a different type of supplement of protein. Um, so I, I think protein powder is a little bit more common um, a more well-known supplement, but collagen is a form of peptide. So collagen is the most abundant protein in our bodies. It makes up um, like our, 
our skin, our hair, our nails, um, our, our fascia tissue um, kind of helps to keep things together, right? Um, so collagen is sometimes a good supplement to add in. Um, the reason I'm using collagen today instead of protein powder is simply, for no other reason than simply because it is flavorless. Um, I didn't want to um, take away from the berries and the beets and all the goodness already in here. Um, sometimes protein powders can be a little overpowering in their flavor, um, but today I wanted to use um, collagen powder. Is one better than the other? No, um, I think it just kind of depends what you what your goals are. Um, for me, I like to have a collagen supplement to help boost hydration levels um, and to promote healthy skin, hair, and nails. Um, so from time to time, I, I will switch back and forth. And just a reminder, Supplements are meant to supplement, not replace. Um, so just make sure you keep that in mind when you are considering using supplements into your food. Um, I didn't want to throw in grilled chicken in here, so <laughs> I'm supplementing collagen into my smoothie bowl, um, but I still make sure to get um, whole food protein sources throughout the day. Um, so a little note on supplements. If anyone has any question on supplements or collagen or protein powder, um, please let me know, okay? All right, half cup of coconut milk. Um, so if anyone was here last week, my coconut kind of spilled. So I make my own coconut milk in the blender and what happens is um, the fat from the coconut tends to separate from the liquid and sit on top and can kind of start to harden at room temperature. So I had a hard time getting my milk out last week, but this week I made sure to shake it up all right, with smoothie bowls, sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error, kind of depending on what consistency you want for your smoothie bowl. I'm doing just a little under half cup, and then if it's too thick, then I'll go in and add a little bit more, but I don't like to over add the liquid because then it becomes a smoothie and I don't have that thickness of the smoothie bowl. I think that's all of our ingredients. We have our beets, our berries, banana, avocado, hemp seeds, collagen powder, and coconut milk. All right, I'm gonna blend this up. It'll be a little loud, uh, so just bear with me and then I'll be back and we will top off our smoothie bowl. is the pretty color it gives. So I'm gonna scoop this out into my bowl. Hopefully you all can see that color. I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see a little bit better. smoothie bowl base. Um, I feel like the, the camera isn't doing it justice. It's a really pretty like bright, like dark pink, almost red color. Really pretty. All right, so we have our smoothie bowl base. Now is the fun part is topping it. 
Uh, so I'm going to be using this no-bake granola. If you would like the recipe for the no-bake granola, uh, the video is actually on our YouTube channel. This is something I made on a past episode of Friday Morning Fuel. Um, it's in nut butter, a little maple syrup, oats, uh, we've got some nuts, um, dried blueberries, and some dark chocolate chips for heart health. I don't ever understand why dark chocolate is good for heart health. I'm sure some one of you could probably tell me, but the way I see it is chocolate is good for my soul and my mood, and I feel like that is good for my heart. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna scoop in some granola in here, and then I'm gonna add in, top, in, top it with blueberries and just a little bit of honey. Drizzle a little bit of honey on the bowl, and that is it. We have our smoothie bowl here for you all to see. Hopefully, you can see it. It's kind of sliding. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to taste it. Very good. It doesn't have that like earthy um, taste of beets, but all the beets nutrients are in there. There's um, the berries and the banana kind of um, cover the, the earthy flavor of the beets. Um, very sweet, very good, and pretty simple to make. Um, I know I was talking a lot today, but hopefully you can see that making a heart healthy breakfast is pretty simple, can be quick, and can look good and taste good, all right? So enjoy your smoothie bowl. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for our um, Friday Morning Fuel episode on National Wear Red Day. Um, please make sure you wear some red today um, in raising awareness about heart disease prevention. Um, so again, thank you so much. Again, I'm Daniela, and I hope to see you back next week for Friday Morning Fuel. Thanks, everyone.